boom. What's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Millionaire E, coming at you with a movie review. Now, the movie we're going to be talking about today is Blue Beetle. Now, before we get started, y'all know the deal. Spoiler alert for anyone who's not seen the video yet. Don't want to spoil it for you. And let's get into it. Now, some of y'all may hear the name Blue Beetle and be like, who is that? Who is Blue Beetle? And I'm going to give y'all just a little bit because I know only a little bit about Blue Beetle. So Blue Beetle is a boy named, he's a Mexican-American boy named Jamie Reyes. And he finds this thing called a scarab. It's this alien artifact or this alien type thing that bonds with him and grants him this suit, basically, where he can use different types of powers. Now, it's similar to almost kind of like Iron Man, except... The suit is connected to you and you can't take it off almost. Or he can take it off, but he cannot physically take the scarab out. And I'll explain I'll explain a little bit that um, as we get into the video. But yes, and he gets his power. Now, of course, like I said, I don't know a lot of Blue Beetle. I've never read the comics and I've only seen him in forms of media such as, you know, Young Justice. I've seen him in Batman Brave and the Bold. And even, you know, I have him. You know, I love Legos. I have him in kind of Lego form, as you can see. Kind of got, like, you know, the uh, scarab right there in the back. But, yeah, I don't know a lot about him. So, when I came into this movie, I was like, okay. And before we get into this movie, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I thought were, I loved about the movie. And also, again, just for a little preference, when it comes to DC and me, DC and me, I love DC, you know, animated stuff like, you know, Justice League animated, you know, the some of the comics and even like the Flash before it came. But when it came to the movies, I really didn't just have an interest in a movie to see. And I saw this movie and this movie made me happy. So one of the things that I do, and I'm going to tell you why, but one of the things that I really did like about this movie is I love how, where the route DC is going. And what I mean by it is... No one, not a lot of people know who Blue Beetle is. But, because they have, they probably seen him in some stuff, but I don't know if a lot of people know. But it's cool that DC is bringing unknown, like, char characters that not a lot of people know to the movies. Because it's cool because they get to know this character. And it's, it's a different flow, you know? It's not always Batman or Superman or Wonder Woman or Aquaman. No, they're Justice League. It's, it's another character, new character, which is really cool. And even in this movie, I didn't tell y'all, the actors is Solo Maridueña and <laughs> George Lopez. Now, if you don't recognize that name, Solo Maridueña, have if y'all seen, you know, Cobra Kai, basically, he was Miguel in that show. So I was like, okay, you know, that's Miguel. So I was like, it's somebody that I recognize from another show. But as I'm watching this, it's really, really cool that the movie was really funny of course and i guess i was laughing at things that i don't know if other people are laughing at like the transformation when his family was there but what i thought was this movie kind of revolved around family as much like his family was like his closest core circle that's what he got his power from basically because you know even when he was transformating his family was like oh my god he's possessed or something because i'll tell you about the scene but I'm not going to tell you a lot about the movie, but yeah, that scene was hilarious. But they were willing to die for him or to basically fight for him. Because like even the one scene, which was hilarious, but also tells me that, you know, Blue Beetle power, that seems like a really amazing power to get, but a bad drawback. And what I mean is, is I'm like, imagine having something literally bond to your body. In the most gruesome way possible. Like this whole, while I was watching this movie, this it looked like a Venom. It almost looked like a Venom symbiote taking over. <laughs> like it was crazy, but yeah. But his family still stuck with them. And then other things that were really cool, like one of the things that I really saw was the weapons that they were using, that the family used. One of them was like this Nintendo, and I didn't tell you all this, but it almost like the, the title and even like the actors' names seem like they were in a 90s-esque almost. And this next thing I'm gonna tell y'all, I was like, I feel like they were going to this 90-esque type thing. 
So his sister, her weapon that she grabbed, of course, was this Nintendo gauntlet, basically. And you remember, you know, the gauntlet had the, you know, buttons on it. It's got the buttons on the arm. And if she pressed like a certain button, it turned into a blue beetle shield, which was really cool. And then she also pressed it again and it turns into a, basically, a glove, like a, a holographic fist almost. So I love the actors. The actors were hilarious. The granny or the nana was wildin', basically, because her in her scene, she plays like the, I guess, that type of movie. I don't know if it's like a type of stereotype or a type of thing in movies where it's like the grandma has like this dark, dark past. She's like, you don't know what I've been through, Sonny. Like home granny was granny was wildin'. Like one of the scenes they get like Jamie gets kidnapped. And she's like, and then something happens. And she's like, this is not the time to cry. We need to go save our boy. And then grandma picks up a gun. She picks up like a machine gun thing. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to use this, which is hilarious. But kind of in conclusion, rolling it up together. I was like, this is really nice. It's a new character. It's a Mexican-American character, which is really good. Because you don't see a lot of those characters in DC or in the DC cinematic universe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm like, that's really, really cool to do. And it's another character that's not known, of course, to be brought back in. So I'm like, honestly, I'm like, when it comes to DVD, I'm probably going to put it on DVD because I want I want it. And it was really nice to see. I didn't see anything wrong with it. But if y'all have seen the movie, tell me what y'all thought. And if y'all haven't seen it, I want y'all to go watch it and see what y'all thought about it. And remember, you like the video, share it with your family, and if you subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified for more videos. And I'll see you in the next video, y'all. Bye, y'all. Have a blessed day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.